Well, it's about a very famous British scandal that I had no idea about. And I think what makes it different uh, from American scandals, which are marvelous on their own, but uh, ours is sort of steeped in the class system. And um, Margaret's father was an industrialist and, and they sort of bought into the aristocracy. There's been lots of books written about her. She wrote one as well, um, which is basically about how to throw a good dinner party, um, which no one really wants to know about because everyone wants to know about kind of the salacious elements of, the, of their divorce, especially. But what I found out was that a lot of the books that are written about her are written by men and there's quite a lot of judgment about her and her sexuality and who she was. Um, and so a lot of it was based on the research, but also was kind of the facts about her really, which was that she was very entitled and privileged and she had come from a background where basically she got whatever she wanted from the men in her life. And then she sort of married a man who refused to give her anything. <laughs> um, and so basically then the relationship and the kind of the drama of it that is fictionalized takes over really. Yeah, because a lot of it is basically viewed her viewed from the outside and the judgment of other people about who she was and the terrible things that she did, which weren't that terrible, really. So, why are you being around it? I had such a lovely day and we've gone and it. I'm going to sleep at the club. And tomorrow morning we go back to Inverera, first train. I won't be. You'll do what I tell you to do and when I tell you to do it. You must be confusing me with one of your other wives. I think it was the first case kind of of its kind in the UK, definitely, because in that sort of divorce proceedings, they were always very private um, and there were never really women, women of means who could bring a divorce case against their husband or it was normally the husbands who were divorcing the wives and uh, they were pretty kind of open and shut cases, really. But because Margaret had the means to basically take it to the bitter end, she was never going to give up it really played out in the media. And so they used the press, but I think that she she was an it girl, so she sort of grew up being lauded and kind of appreciated by the press. And in that way, completely took for granted the fact that they suddenly turned on her and went for her. And the narrative that she had created in her, in her mind of who she was and in the press was so quickly turned and she became kind of, it was a, basically a witch hunt really for her and everything about her because people loved it. They loved the salaciousness of it and the idea that she was such a sexually promiscuous woman and how dare she divorce her husband and who does she think she is? And I think unfortunately, that's kind of one of the things that I felt when I was shooting it. I sort of thought that I would be shooting it and kind of looking back and going, oh, how terrible it was this woman was treated this way. And I realized that basically nothing's really changed. No, I've been a huge fan of Claire's. I think she's an amazing actress. And so that was the first thing. And then I heard there was a project with her and I read it. And for me, it, it seemed like nice counter programming, frankly, because I've been playing a lot of um, nice, warm, fuzzy ro robots, I suppose. <laughs> uh, and uh, to, to play a sort of... Um, uh, close to yourself. It's something probably, yeah. closer to myself. <laughs> exactly. It's a bit yeah, sociopath, to the cold sociopath. <laughs> uh, just seemed like I was a shoe in. So uh, yeah. So that's uh, it, for for me. I was excited at the idea of doing something very different, and uh, to work with Claire. It was a real a real joy working with her. She's an amazing scene partner and um, has similar instinct that I have, which is to try and bat away from what the dialogue is, is, is doing. And so it was, it, was, it was kind of surprising, I thought. It was great. With you. It, was, it felt like you had a real, yeah, we'd always talk about it, wouldn't we? We'd have like a real, it, that you had a friend on set, like it felt like you had someone who had your back, which is good, but sometimes it doesn't feel like that. Um, it was so much fun, too much fun sometimes. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.